Good morning to you and welcome this Friday morning to our prayers in the villages of the Cookhams. Our Gospel reading this morning comes from Luke's 10th chapter and follows Jesus' appointment of 70 additional disciples and his sending them out in pairs to every town and place which he intended to visit. He warned them not to stay anywhere where they were not welcomed and to warn the local population of the fate which will befall those who reject or who do not listen to the disciples. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment it will be to more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus singles out and criticises the population of three towns on the north shore of the Sea of Galilee for having rejected him. The first, Chorazin, is not otherwise mentioned in the Gospels, but Bethsaida is recorded as being where Philip, Andrew and Peter were from, and where Jesus healed a blind man. The third town, Capernaum, is mentioned many times in the Gospels and was the site of many of Jesus' healings and other miracles and was for a time the centre of his public ministry. Of the other places he mentions, Tyre and Sidon were cities against which the prophets of the Old Testament had pronounced God's judgment, and Sodom was infamous as the city which God spectacularly destroyed for its wickedness in the time of Abraham. In essence, then, Jesus is con contrasting three Jewish towns where his message and ministry was known but rejected, with three Gentile towns known for such extraordinary wickedness as to deserve God's destruction. And he warns that on the day of judgment, the former will be judged more harshly because of their greater unwillingness to repent. Thus, today's reading reminds us of an aspect of our faith which we should not overlook, that Jesus speaks very clearly of judgment, that we will be judged according to our deeds and how we use the many gifts God has given to us. We will only be saved if we want to be, and God, however merciful, cannot make us do what we refuse to do. In our reading, Jesus uses the language of the prophets of the Old Testament, warning people that their neglect of God's ways can only have destructive consequences. Jesus knows that he re represents God's message, so the destiny of those who reject him will be even more terrible than the fate of the sinful cities of the Old Testament. We should heed that warning. Amen. So let us pray for our faith and for our salvation. Almighty God, give us true faith and make that faith grow in us day by day. Also give us hope and love 
so that we may serve you and our neighbours according to your will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Dear Father, hear our prayers for the salvation of the world. Grant mercy to all souls who have turned away from you and open their hearts and minds with your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on those who do not know you and lead them out of darkness into your light. We know that you are our saving God who promises us forgiveness and salvation. Prote protect us, we pray, from all evil. We thank and praise you, our Lord Jesus Christ, for you are our hope and saviour. May your way be known upon earth and your salvation known to all nations. And we pray that you fill us with your love and grant us your peace. Amen. And drawing all together, to, to, drawing together all our prayers, let us say together as our Saviour taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us close for today by saying the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. And so farewell for now and may our gratitude for God's forgiveness and for his gift of salvation be demonstrated in all that we do and with all whom we meet today. Farewell.